A show of hands. How many here are married or have a significant other? This question is for everybody but Jeffrey. <laughs> Can you remember the first words you heard your significant other say? Eight years ago, I was driving from Placerville to Reno in my 1984 Volkswagen Vanity Camp Mobile. <laughs> 35 miles an hour up the hill. <laughs> As I'm driving down 50, approaching South Lake Tahoe, I realized I had never spent a night out in the towns in South Lake Tahoe. It was St. Patty's weekend, and I had these threats. I found myself a parking spot behind a casino under a 70 foot pine tree. Popped the top, kicked back the cocktail. In the casino, I had. The first bar I come to is this TV lounge. I checked out the scene, head to the bar, and someone says, Anthony, Anthony. I peer over my left shoulder. There's my friend Michelle. Michelle and I exchange some conversation. I see this cute girl on walking, thinking to myself, Who is this? She walks up to Michelle, looks at me up. Down. Says to Michelle, what is he wearing? <laughs> <laughs> and where's my hot bartender? <laughs> Fellow Toastmasters, most welcome guest. One of the <clears throat> greatest powers you have as individuals is the power to make a decision. You can make decisions that seem insignificant. We can make decisions that are bad. And the goal is to learn from those decisions. Like Steve Jobs, you can make a decision that has the power to change the course of the market. In 2007, I bought a condo, North Virginia Street. After staying in my condo for about eight months, I had a job opportunity. This was in Stockton. I'm the type of guy who likes to jump the fence and see if the grass is greener on the other side. After about a year in Stockton, I find myself falling behind my credit cards, falling behind my mortgage. I came back up to Reno to get another job. I filed bankruptcy, let my condo go into corporate. All those years of hard work, saving money, Build up my credit. I flushed it right down the floor. Now you remember that insignificant decision that I made to stop in South Lake Tahoe for a night of fun? That was the first time I had ever laid eyes on a woman like me. And in 2011, we had our first boy. And after my oldest son Leo was born, my wife went back to work. Two years later, 2013, we have our second child. My wife comes to me, she says, Honey, what do you think if I stay at home and take care of the home? Well, gosh, I thought that was a grand plan. I would prefer if she did that. So, where does that leave me? One income, four mouths to feed, another mortgage, and Obamacare. <laughs> Eight months later, I am irritated, angry, I'm bringing my whole work in, my frustrations to the dinner table. And it wasn't my wife, my children, or the money. It was my J-O-B. The lack of management at the shop left the entire workforce Frustrated. Company morale was in the dirt. What was I to do? Jump another fence? See if the grass is greener on the other side? No. March 22nd, 2014, I made a rock solid, concrete decision to go into business with my brother. We made, we decided we would sow our own seeds, mow our own grass. Our own and 
Once we became focused on what it was we wanted to do, it became clear what actually we wanted to do. And I would take a list with me every day with my tasks written across this list. And as I completed these tasks, I would cross it off the list. Done. 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 And I was diligent in this practice until the goal was over. Within four short months, our business was over. Six months into business, we were already in the black. Today, less than two years from making that decision, we now have four employees. We're looking at hiring more in the summer. I couldn't imagine going back to the business. Here I've shared with you how an insignificant decision turned out to be not so insignificant. How I've learned from my bad decisions. Finally made my not paying my credit card bill. And how making a single decision can have the power to transform your life. So let me ask you, are you happy in your job or where your business is headed? Or have you always wanted to start writing that book? Or maybe you sow your own seeds to start a business? Now is the time. It's time for you to decide. Because making no decision at all is the worst decision 